going, man. I'm telling you. How about we come in with a song? Come in. A, a new song. You want to start it or you want me to start it? I'll start it. All right, go ahead. Girl, I know this might seem strange, Woo! but let me know if I'm out of photo for stepping to you hey. this way. See, I've been watching you for a while. I've been watching. I just got to let you know yeah. that I'm really feeling your style. I'm telling See, you. I had to know your name hey. and leave you with my number. Hey. And I hope that you will call me someday. Woo. And if you want, you can give me yours too. Yeah. And if you don't, well, I ain't mad at you. Because we, we can, can still, still be cool, cool but I'm, I'm not trying, trying to pressure you. you. Just, Just can't, can't stop thinking about you. You, you ain't even really got to be my girlfriend. Hey. Yeah, I just want to know Let's go. your name and maybe sometime we can hook up hang out Rack just deals. chill Rack it deals <laughs> Rack it what don't <laughs> Record deals Record deals we we got new mics and new everybody's mic. getting record deals we had to test them out we had to test them you out get yeah. you, you get a record deal you get a record deal both of y'all getting record deals man stand down straight up relax relax it's a beautiful time man listen man you already know what it is it's the seventh episode Double of seven. Talk. Double O seven. Golden Eye, Ethan Hunt. We made it to seven episodes, and it's not a cooking show. That's good. It's not a love show. <laughs> Got to remind some people. And we still here talking that real talk. And it's not a news show. A what show? A news show. What do you mean a nude show? News. Uh, news show. Get your head out the gutter. News. I mean nothing wrong with nude though. I'm we just talking <laughs> about nothing, nothing, nude. Like, nothing wrong with nude. Like. What's wrong with nude? You got a problem with nude? I don't have a problem with nude. Nude is, nude is not a bad thing. That's how we came That's in. your problem. But, but go ahead. We gonna, we gonna keep going. We gonna keep no, going. I see we gonna keep going though. I see like it's a lot of tension between me and now you I got smoke. I, 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 like, I my got shorts all are my really smoke little. with you. I'm wearing you little shorts. You got thought tats. Yeah, I got... I'm, I'm, the I'm, thought tats. He <laughs> got thought tats. I got, I got a little shorts today, man. Like I don't understand. Like They making these shorts small I, and small. I guess small. it goes with the throwback. What's wrong with the throwback? Ain't nothing wrong with the throwback. I, I feel like you got a problem with I don't like this. I don't like... I, I'm, not, I'm not a big Boston Celtics fan. You could have got a better Celtics one, fan. but it's, it's all right. What's wrong with this? This is Larry Bird. This Boston Celtics. Oh. You got a... No, man. Larry Boston Celtics. What's wrong with the Celtics? I don't like... I don't, nothing wrong with the Celtics. I'm just not a big Celtics fan. All right, that's your business. This is not a sports show. Right? <laughs> no, it's not. Right. Okay. <laughs> It's a kitchen talk show. Yeah, it's kitchen talk. We talking. We talking. So shit. if you to walk to my kitchen, I'll tell you take that stupid ass Celtic jersey off. If you walk to my kitchen. <laughs> kitchen talk. <laughs> kitchen talk. This we, is your kitchen. He talking. All right. This is your kitchen. But you my brother, so we are gonna get you right. I'm gonna go. I to, like the jersey, man. Oh, cool. I'm gonna go to Mitchell and Ness. We are gonna get you something that's suitable. I like suitable. the jersey. Get I like you, the jersey. Get you a good. Uh, you gonna give me another Celtic? No, no, no. I I want another Celtic. No, no, no. Get you a good Bulls. Oh, man. All right, can you do that for me? I got you. Do that for me. It's my birthday. Get some up. ones to go with it. You're going to yeah, be good. Definitely. And um, Georgie, Georgie going to help us out. What's up? Yeah, definitely, Georgie. Pick, you, pick you, the socks. Georgie got a new part. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like this. I do got a new part. Georgie got a new part. It's a I deep do. part, too. It's deep, yes, yes. I'm a deep diver. Whoa. <laughs> I just hope they can swim. Hey. Deep diver, okay. Right, what's that? No, ma. Go ahead. We're going to keep going to continue. We don't know what that means. What, what, we don't know what that means, but you deep, know what? Deep diver? Deep diver. Yes. Okay. All right. You don't have to know so what that means. Does that mean you can hold your breath for a long time? No, it doesn't. What, did that, uh, what does that mean, you're a deep diver? Explain. She stay down long? For if long you time? don't understand, then I don't know what to tell you. No, but I'm just saying. I dive diver, deep. You dive educate deep. The, educa educate Edu the people. Yeah, educate me and the people. You know how to swim? Yes. Physically? Yes. Okay. Or, <laughs> Physically. Or, or are we talking about, you know, <laughs> are we using that as like a metaphor? A metaphor. I drown a lot, though. Me personally. <coughs> Bound to Giselle. I'm a nigga that go. I cross all boundaries, <laughs> and I drown a lot. Okay. I drown a lot. Okay. You know, me and you good? We we fine. No, we not. So. I'm chilling. Okay, man. So, but look, what's what's been happening, man? Lot lot going on. Lot happening, man. It's a man. lot going on. <laughs> it's a lot going on in here tonight. Lot going on. Lot going on tonight. Yo, Petey, what's up, baby? Got Petey behind the cameras again. Petey shot you. Petey is not doing good management right now, and I'm not understanding where Petey is going right now. Oh, Petey's looking at all that ass in here. 
That's the thing. Petey, it's stay right. focused, Petey. Ask, ask like, I'm putting you on the spot please. right now. Stay focused. Introduce everybody. Let's go. Volume control, Petey. Volume control. The kitchen, the kitchen talk ladies are here. Yes. Cooking tonight. Espanola in the gang. Okay. Okay. Are, are you going to introduce and us, the, though? You didn't introduce us. Okay. To the left of me, I got the beautiful. I got the, the, the superstar-ish. Danielle, a.k.a. Georgie, a.k.a. your favorite tomboy. Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. Hold on. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> that was good. Got sound effects in this bitch. Yeah. And to the right of me, the unstoppable, Fat Ricky. From Fulton Street. From Fulton Street. From Fulton Street. <laughs> yes, Street. Let's go. <laughs> Fat Ricky from, from Fulton Street, a.k.a. A.k.a. Ricky Hustle Hard. And... In the middle, with the little shorts on, and, <laughs> and no socks. No socks. I got socks on. They just all the way down. All right. The anklets. The an- anklets. Yeah. yeah. We have socks I don't on. think men should wear. And you oh. know what? That's not. That's not for me to say. You coming at me, man? You coming at me again? Listen. I, I have a jersey on and little shorts, and barely no socks. But it is what it is. I'm living life. I'm happy, and can't nobody tell me nothing. I feel good. I feel great, man. Look real good today. Yeah, look real good today. There's a lot happening, man. I see, <laughs> I see, um, I see some shit was going on with uh with Kanye again. And you know, this man, I don't do the news reporting shit and all that, but I was, I was, uh, I was just looking at it like, wow, this is this is interesting, and I'm seeing a lot of different conversations, and the conversation about mental health, you know, comes up. So, um, but the thing about what I see him going through is that I don't understand. Oh well, I do understand. I do, in my opinion, niggas become crazy when they got music to put out. <laughs> if you if you notice, every time this happens, it's always around an album cycle or some type of music is coming out. Mm-hmm. And I look, I'm not hating on it because shit, fuck it, get it how you get it. It's all good, right? But I just noticed that when when it's time to put out a project, this is when we start to see all these ranks. And to me, that cannot be by chance that has to be designed so is is he really is he really off that's the question because we all know that we we all deal with, with different things differently right we deal with things differently and some people have mental issues um bipolarism is an issue it, it's a real mental it's real too it, it's super real i have family members who have bipolar. i do too i have a, I have a my family baby mother member. was diagnosed with bipolar and it's a it's a real thing but i also think though i also think I also think that um I'm listening. Okay. <laughs> I also think that creatively, like when you put out music as well, music is a reflection of how you feel. So it could go both ways even though it might be coincidental it could be that that's what's happening and and it might be a marketing strategy or something like that, but it also could be that, you know what I mean, these things are Fueling him creatively, you get what I'm saying. If that makes sense to you, I hear that. But I hear that. I hear what you're saying. But I mean, just it's just every time that there's a project that's about to happen, there's there's these rents that happen. Mm-hmm. It's these the most outrageous things that that start to happen around him. You know what I mean? And, and like I said, this thing. I ain't, look, I got my own crazy shit going on. I'm out here. I fucking, see. What you mean? Can I weigh in? Yeah, weigh in. I f- I feel that the things he be saying. If you dissect it and you really look at it, he, what he be saying is not off. But I feel that he he doesn't articulate and get it across properly. And what you I mean, can feel not that off. you said Harry Tubman didn't free the slaves. No, basically he's trying to say that he took him from the north, right, and bring him to uh, what you bring, uh from, from the south, from the he south, and bring him to the north, right. And when he got to the north, we, well, we wasn't actually free. Okay, we, we just we had to get jobs and still work for other white people, but we wasn't slaves. So we did get money. We got paid. Right. Uh, well, I so that. I just kind of understand what he's saying. I'm not saying he's right. I don't agree how he said it. But I'm saying if you really listen to what he's saying, you could pick out and understand right. what he's saying. But what is the, what is the sense of but it? I, it's always on. a time and a place. But I feel right. that he's, you can see that he's frustrated because nobody gets him. So he's like going crazy. Like, like you no, understand what I'm saying? I don't buy that. He's frustrated. Well, you got to understand that there are certain things that... Um, like when you have bipolar disorder, there are certain things he has that, that ha- I know that. No, I said he has that. Yes, that's oh, what, that's what, I'm that's what they're saying. That that's what what Kim said. That's what 
they have been saying and and with that it's it's certain things that happen like you you get triggered a certain type of way there's there's certain symptoms that they have and even with that but prior to I I think that he has a it's not about what you say it's about how you say it and it's about when you say it you get what I'm saying mm-hmm. like all of these things come Kanye has a a way of just speaking his mind but it's not always the right time and it doesn't come out it's not delivered correctly yes you get what I'm saying so yes and um you know they've also I oh, well I my opinion is I feel like this is also stemming from, you know, the death of his mom because everything started spiraling downhill once that passing happened. The whole so thing you think with, that she's the one that kept him, like, grounded and kept him... I I don't know if he was going to, through that prior to, but I think it could have triggered, like, the bipolar disorder. It could have triggered certain things within him that he didn't cope with or he couldn't cope with and may have, you know what I mean... Like I said, it spiraled downwards. When remember the whole Taylor Swift situation, an yep. outburst. These all, yeah. all of these outbursts started. Ha- even don't get me wrong, he's always been that type of person to just say shit because he felt like he was the underdog. You know, he felt like nobody paid him no mind, and then he got that opportunity, and it was he had a little cockiness about him. But when when his mother passed, it it just was like a, a spiraling downhill. After that, the whole situation with Taylor Swift, the whole blurting out of things, just just doing things. That it wasn't the right time or the right place and may have been like in his mind, it may have been good intentions, but it just wasn't delivered correctly. Okay, nice. Hold up. <laughs> we we not about to do these sound effects every we gonna, time. We're gonna, we gonna get you some sound effects. Jesus. You needed some sound effects. That was good. You're really good. This is this is why you're here. I still don't want to talk so to you. So you feel though, like his so mom's just... his mom was the one that kept him. <laughs> Basically kept him on a short leash, that held him. I think his mom. Th- yeah, I think his. I think his mom was his. Anchor? His yes, not even about mentally. I think she was his everything. So just imagine you, yeah, everything. This person who has like held you down, who has showed you the ropes, who has done everything for you, and then it gets taken away from you. Now I don't know what to do because my my anchor and my my heart is gone. Yeah, I get it. You know what I'm saying? You know, the thing is this. You, you don't know how people deal with they hurt. You don't know how people nope. deal with their pain because everybody they deals grief. with that. Everybody deals with that um, differently in their own way. You know, I deal with my shit the way I deal with my shit. He deals with his the way he deal with, deal with, deal with his. I don't know how you deal with yours. <laughs> um, we can get into that <laughs> another time. But you you want to know how I deal with mine? How? I cry. You cry. Um, but I, I go into, uh, I go into a little bubble and I talk, I write, I journal, Nice. I do, I, I I have friends that I speak to that are, are like, I have friends for different things. So I have friends where I need a pep talk. I have tough love friends. I have friends that are, are loving. Like I, and like I said, I use those things. Sometimes I even talk out loud. You get what I'm saying? As if I'm talking to God, but I, I journal a lot and I just make sure that I have outlets. You have to make sure that you have outlets that you can get those things out instead of repressing them. I don't have to show everybody my hurts. Of course, to the world, everybody thinks I'm strong, but I am strong, you know, but Oh God, he's so extra. He's so extra. Bring it in. No, get out of here. You know, you you just, you just, you just, you just made me think like. Bring it in. Don't you know how I deal with mines? How? I make it worse. I know. I pretty much self destruction. (laughs) Get headed for self destruction. (laughs) Hey, destruction. I I pretty much make uh, things worse. That's just. How I am. But no, that's the problem. Because people say that's just how I am. That's not how you are. That's a habit that you have you 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 go to. Like that's something that you develop. That's not who you are. So we're gonna use this aspect. episode for you to analyze me today. So I need you to give me some of that energy since, since you're so therapeutic, right? I am. So, <laughs> so you know, um I have like when I have a problem, sometimes it's like the only way to get out of the problem is to, to is to just the shit that I'm going through is just just to destroy it. And you know what that's called? What? Deflection. Is that so? Yes. So he, so he's deflecting. He's Instead deflecting. of dealing with it, you're destroying yes. it. Instead of dealing with it, you're going around it. I mean, I... I no, I don't go around it. No, you are. Because no, you're not, no, you're no, not dealing with it. I don't close it up, go right through it. I go right through it. 
But how are you going through it? I don't. You, you wait until things like is about to ex- like it gets to a boiling point. No, see, he brings it. I point. make it to, <laughs> to the, the boiling, boiling point. point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's a small problem, I make it bigger. But why? I'm trying to figure that out. I, I'm trying to get better. Are, do you feel like you're it's all calm or and chaos? To get better. It's all or nothing. It's, it's either, all or nothing. It's either all the way good or all the way bad. It's like no middle with me. You see, and that's the problem. It's like. When I'm good, it's, I'm extremely good. When I love you, I love you. I love you to the end. I, I ride to the bloody end for you. Mm-hmm. You understand? We could go sit in front of a nigga house, okay? Mm-hmm. We could go put that type of, type of pain in. You understand? Or, you know, it's love forever. It's loyalty. It's, there's no time, no distance, no jail cell, no nothing that can come between me and my friends or, the pe- or, or, or my loved ones, mm-hmm. right? But when it's, it's no, I don't leave no middle Right, so when it's all the way, when it's bad, I need it to be bad. I don't want to be just all right. I need it to be all the way bad. I, I so need it petty. to be to the point. You gotta take them off. I need, I need it, I, yeah, I gotta take them off. It's like I hate you. I, I don't fuck with you. Why? I don't like. There's a reason for that. I, I don't know. I, the most of the is. most of the things. I, I don't mean, think that's a bad thing. But most no, because that middle is a shaky. Is a shaky. No middle. That middle no, is a shaky. But no, shaky. but no, like me, I don't. I don't do middle either. I'm either black or I'm white. Woo. But I either fuck with I you. Like that. Or I, I like that. You, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh my god! Yeah. Just, she get another. She get another. Shout out to the cars over there. Eat though. In the building. You know what I mean. <laughs> Yes, but it's either black is or it's it? white. There's no middleman. So I either fuck with you or if I don't. But my thing is this. If I take my time to be petty towards you or to make it all the way bad, that Not means petty. it is petty. Listen to what I'm saying. If I take my time to go out of my way to make it all the way bad, that means I'm still putting energy into you. I can't do that. To me, What I've learned is that when you remove your energy, it hurts way more than when you do petty shit. People feel way more... Of my, my, res, not my resistance, but my detachment, it hurts way more than me actually going out to do something to you. Nah, I'd rather not mess with you. I don't talk to you. You don't exist to me. You literally don't exist. I wish I could be that, uh, that mature. I still got to get a fuck you in there. It takes practice. No, it I is fuck you. A, I still got to get a, No, no, no. I, I still got to no, get a, I got to say you. that shit. I got to say it. Let, Let me, me tell you something. And with a fuck you died. Yeah, everything, all fuck that. you die. everything. I still got to get that in there. Because you still, to me, I feel like when you do stuff like that, you're looking at it from like, I did all of this for you and you did that no. to me. Like, no, listen, and you did that to me. Nah, because then that's still like a victim mentality to me. So if you, if I, I'm good, I feel like I'm good with knowing that my heart is good. Like, I don't have to, you did, I did all this for you and you did that to me. And this took practice, but it's like, if I did all this for you, I'm good. My karma is good. If you fuck me over, that's your karma. You deal with that. Because when I, when I engage with you, then my karma gets intertwined with you. Nah, I'm practicing good karma over here. I'm good. My blessings are still going to go up. I'm still going to continue to be good. You just don't exist to me. And guess what? When you try to talk to me or when you try to come back in my energy, because it's going to happen, I'm going to be kind. They always come back? They always come back. They well, always hold come on, back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, because now, now I feel like where you're going is this. Like no relationship shit. No, it's not really. It's friendship. It's everything. It's it's all types of whatever. It's not just relationship. He just said they they always come back. Friends, whatever. Because I know my energy is. A friendship good. is kind of a relationship. It is. All of them are but relationships. Here's, just one is romantic, here's, one here's, is not. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't, You're done. I, I agree with you, and I like that. You're probably a stronger person than me in certain areas. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. For me, I wind up. Fucking some shit all the way up, and then re- and then really regretting it. Like damn, Rick. He's he's good at he's, he's the he's the definition of burning a bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I burn it down, right? I burn it down. No he, lifeboat, it, no nothing. And, and a lot of it comes from a lot of it comes from anger. Like when I was coming, up, I had I had a lot of anger issues. I had anger issues. Childhood trauma. Right, and then you know, um, somebody told me something today that really resonated with me. Um, my cousin Edo, he said to me, he said, um, anger is when you allow somebody's, somebody else's pain or somebody else's um, issues mm-hmm. affect you mm-hmm. and get you to a point where you you out of control. Facts. Right? So you basically taking on somebody else's shit. What you angry for? They, Absolutely. They, they, they in turn on you. You're you allowing, you allowing what 
their reflection to bounce off of you. Yep. And sometimes they 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 it gives them set of uh set of satisfaction. Yeah, satisfaction. I had, that's why I'm wearing but me and, him, me and him argue about this all the time. Let me tell you, something. me and him argue about this all the time, right? Mm-hmm. I say, Rick, I wish you were stronger than me. I wish I was as strong as you, mm-hmm. because I lose it. I lose it. He's been with me many times, many nights outside. Watch me lose it, lose my mind, lose my focus, lose my composure, and I, and he he doesn't do that. I used to be that way. You you never been like me. I ain't say I never been <laughs> like, like you. you. No, no, little nigga. I no, little nigga. You ain't never, never been like, like me. You can never I'm not, be like me, nigga. Shut up. You can never be like me, little nigga. See, I got shit all I'm not twisted. saying. Yeah. I'm I ain't not, had my no dome straight. straight. <laughs> You want a nigga with two strikes to go to jail for life? Like, I my dog straight. But it, I'm not saying I was I I was a person who who went from zero to a thousand, especially if I felt disrespected, you know. But what I've learned over time because it's a practice. You are as strong as him. You just gotta practice your strength. Yeah, yeah. I'm but listen, to get there. Not, you have not, people who literally. They have like they pride themselves in getting people upset. They pride them. They want yeah, to see you get upset. But with me, I could be. You like that sometimes. But look, with me, I could yeah. be balling up inside. I could ball, I could be on fire, but I won't let you know. Can I tell us? Can me. I tell us? And if I'm a strike, strike, that's me. If I'm a me, strike, I'm a strike. I'm let a strike. Well, ain't no, it ain't and no it ain't even a warning. Can ain't I tell no a warning? Because because your anger is giving them that's a warning. The Aries in so if you get angry, in me. they ready now. They <laughs> yep. oh, he, oh he mad. Let me get on point. No, you calm and balling up inside. You get close upon him. You're a good man. You're strike. Oh, I hit you with the okay. You all right? You good? Okay. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Let me tell you something. Look, one shot. <laughs> I can oh, mute you, you now. Oh, you got a mute button. Got to watch him now. Let me tell you a story about this guy here. <laughs> we was in a club in New York City. It was one of those nights. Mm-hmm. Okay? It was one of those nights. I'm talking about those nights when I was... I felt like... <laughs> Jesus. Okay. You had the sandals on too? Almost, maybe. <laughs> okay? He's- Blasphemy. He was walking right? on water. I was walking on water that night, okay? okay? Standing on couches in New York City, okay? Playboy Club, okay? Good night. Playboy nights. Club. Good night. Good night in Playboy Club. I was standing up, and I was, the energy was, 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 the energy was to the sky, okay? Okay. It was pressure in there, right? Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. He was in there that night. Mm-hmm. He was in the DJ booth. I'll never forget. He was shouting us out from, from, the, from way across the room. And I happened to be in the presence of a young lady who wanted to be in the presence of me. Right? Mm-hmm. She wanted to be in my presence. I wanted her to be in my presence. Okay? Mm-hmm. Now, this young lady had a boyfriend. Okay? It's your problem. No. It wasn't, I, it wasn't his our problem. problem. It's not my problem. It wasn't All our right. problem. Okay? It's not my problem. That's his problem. Okay. Because if your girl is over here with me, okay, that's y'all problem. It's not my problem. Okay? Right. So, here's the thing. I'm over here enjoying the night. They playing future, okay? They playing, <laughs> you know, songs that I, I want to dance to. I like to dance. I'm a good dancer, mm-hmm. okay? And Herman, this this particular female and that dude were like in a abusive relationship or whatever. He had beat her up real bad or something like that. Prior to that, I don't want to get into into what happened, you know. Um, but she was going through something with the dude at the time. We didn't know this to after, but... No, but she told me that. Oh, she, she told, told me the you, story oh. prior to that. Well, I didn't know. Now, when she came in the club and she stood next to me, she wasn't in the club for no, long, no longer than five minutes and looked to her left and she saw him. She said, hey, he's right there. And I she said, babed you with a boyfriend. She, yeah, I did. No, I'm... I, are, you, are you nuts? I, <laughs> no, because... That's, that's a regular. What's that's a regular on? for me. I get babed. You like pet names? Daddy... <laughs> I'm daddy-ish. I'm daddy-ish. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, I'm babe. What's wrong? With, like, are, are you? I'm gonna shut up, my off. Might be grandpa-ish, but all right. You must be crazy. Oh, I'm godish. God, okay? what's wrong with this girl? <laughs> Nuts. What we here blasphemizing? The church is gonna burn us down. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Let's get back to the story. Go ahead. So, the girl said, "Babe, he's right there." And I looked to my left. I'm like, where? She pointed him out. He was no. He was like five feet 
he just hacked out of all of the tables in the world. She, he just happened to be at the table right, right next to us. I said, what the fuck? I said, it's okay. She got real tense and really scared. I, you know, they was going through some stuff, and, and she got really scared. And I was just like, it's all good. It's all good. Now, mind was, you, I'm having a good time minding my business. I don't know tell, none of this. He don't know nothing. I'm, a, I'm outside. I got a couple of the homies with me. Anybody know me? I keep the homies. Situation is secure. Okay? I turned back around to drink. I wanted to drink. Look. That's my brother. I went in my to drink. Head. And what happened was, are you listening to this song? I'm listening. She said, babe, he's coming over here. I turned around. I looked. I said, what the? I said, what the fuck is this? And I see him in my table. I said, yo, Rick, what? this nigga got an issue. What's up with this nigga? So Big Rick from Fulton Street. Fat Ricky from Fulton Street. Fat Ricky from Fulton Street said. Astronaut Rick. Yeah, he said, he said, what's up, homie? You good? That nigga said. <laughs> nigga, you good? Rick. See, now, if it was me, I would have lost all control. There's a lot what, of hand movement, what, nigga. Yeah, doing yeah, all I, this. I would have, because dude energy was just, just. Very hostile. Very hostile. Very hostile energy. And we over here with girls. You want to come get your girlfriend? This is what you want? You want the girl? Okay, I get you. I understand, but you're doing it at the wrong table. Yeah. Because now what happens is you gotta have club etiquette. This is man etiquette, my nigga. You stepping, you stepping into a, 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 into the circumference of a paid environment that we said. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and you, you, you bring this table. You bringing your, your your outside stuff into 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 the club around around my harmony. You bringing little dick energy over here. That was little dick energy. <laughs> that was little Absolutely. dick energy. Absolutely. Hold up. Yeah, you got the. I, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Just need sound effect. That's perfect. That was that was that was little dick energy, and what happened was, he was he was very hostile with with with, with Fat Ricky, and Rick didn't say nothing. Now I'm I'm like about to come jump off the jump off the fucking couch. Rick put his drink down very slowly, very slowly. Sat it down. It might have looked at the drink for a second. Might have did this and all that. I feel like he did this. He might have fixed his his. He his put that drink too. down. And I don't know if it was a hook, a jab, an overhand right, or an uppercut. But all I know is that he hit this nigga so hard. Jazzy Jeff style? No, you don't understand how hard he hit. <laughs> Jazzy hard. Jeff style, like out the house? Listen. Yeah, he, he no, out. His soul left his body. Listen, I never seen a man get knocked out like that. He, he hit him so hard that he fell. He, he knocked him clean. He went back to his section. Out. <laughs> <laughs> he fell on his table. He fell on his table. Look. And was sleep. Look, sleep. Out, sleep. When I'm saying sleep, sleep. Sleep. He was smiling like he needed that sleep. He was like this. <laughs> sleep. Like he was tired from the night before. And then he tried to get up like and fell back down. And you know, and, and, and I gotta get my shit in. Yeah, bitch ass nigga, you fucking with the mom. Hmm? What's wrong with you, boy? Hmm? You know who you playing with? And I'm talking crazy. It's like I'm talking to a dead body, though. That's how sleepy he is. Kind of like when yeah. this nigga got knocked the fuck out on Friday. Ooh. Yeah. And fucking, and Smokey was like, yeah. Yeah. like that. That's that. I was smoking. Give me back my yeah. goddamn. You got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> and, and let me tell you what was impressive about that was because Rick didn't, he didn't, in boxing, it, when, you, when you throw wild punches, they call that telegraphing because you can see it coming. He didn't, he didn't get angry. And if he was angry, he didn't show it. He fooled me. Calm. And I was highly impressed. And I will say that that knockout helped me because prior to that, I had never been with that woman before. I had never been with that woman. That was the assist. That was the assist that I needed. You know? And she, she, she loved me. It was, it was no reason. She it was no. She that. loved me for that. I, I was angry because he was disrespecting me. It was a lot of celebrities in there. So somebody yeah. from afar could be like, oh, shit, he handling big man. Big man. But I didn't show it. I just put my drink down slowly and then put him to sleep. Look, he was tired. He might still be But if sleep. I would have got angry and started doing all this, he'd have been prepared. No, it's a, Not it, even been prepared. Now it, it creates it, he a show. For that, what, we, what we creating a show that too. for? We ain't I mean, it ain't no show here. I'm going to put you out Security and that's came what's going to happen. And Security came over there and said, what happened? I said, nah, he drunk. He fell out, man. I don't yeah. know what happened to that man. Hey, let me tell you something. Smart man, Rick. But let me tell you something, though. Right? Mm -hmm. That knockout was so clean. It was so... It was so impressive that I apologized to him. 
I said, Rick, now you know I talk a lot of shit. I argue with everybody. I argue, I get on everybody knows. See? Everybody know. Listen, everybody around me know. I, they, man, this nigga, they can't take me. I, I argue with all my people. I know. I'm, That's why I'm not yeah. talking to you now. But y'all talking to me. I ain't got no and, choice. And, and the thing is, I apologize to this nigga. I said, Rick, if I ever did anything wrong, <laughs> I want this to be a new slate. I want this to be a new slate. I don't. I don't want no. I don't want no smoke with you, man. Because I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could do that. That was that was very impressive. Would but that be the thing? Because people who you, they think that just because you're calm or you know you you, you cool that you pussy. That's, no, they don't it. equate to. But you. that's not that's not the lesson in that. The lesson to me is controlling yourself. Yes. To the highest degrees, like the art of war. Show no face. Facts. Show no emotion. I mean, all the time. He My might temperature have, he might have thought he time. had it. Yeah, he, he thought might he had have it. thought like, yeah, he, he ain't gonna do nothing. All right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you yell, do all this hand movement. Yeah. No yeah, time. Yeah, put yeah, you yeah. right to sleep. Yeah, we put a, we put his girl to sleep that night too. We you <laughs> you did. <laughs> put her to sleep. Her, her friend was like, yeah, why he ain't do that to him? He do he be hitting on you? Why he ain't do that to him? Yeah. She, her friend was hype. She was she, her friend wanted that. Yeah. Shout out to the. Uh, to the couple who endured that, uh, <laughs> that's your problem. Entanglement, huh? That was an entanglement. She got entangled with. The, she got entangled. <laughs> was, do you was, do that as well? Do I do it? Do what? Do you feel like you you uh you resort to sex? Sex? Yeah. What do you mean resort? Like oh, some Like we were talking. Of, we were talking about how people handle pain and stuff like that. Do you do you like like do you resort to like sex? You know some people they do that like yeah that can happen to to deal with life's issues yeah. to deal with the pressure to of, deal with life's issues of life like to that. deal with deal with the pain because sex is a high too it is a high a medication medication Me- medication goes with you know what I used to I used to deal with my pre- my my issues through through like partying and. See, it's not enough just to have the sex. The vibe has to be right. I need to party. I need to be, I need to party to the point where I'm almost getting pulled off, pulled out in the stretcher. I need to be. I, I don't like when he. I don't like when he's going. And, and he had, And I mean, let me just tell you some real shit. No, please, <laughs> I, Rick, can you shut the fuck up, please, Rick? Because I just. Wow, please. he told him to shut the fuck no, up. Please, in right. Episode seven. It's all right. It's all right. No, I should have said it to him earlier before. <laughs> You've been violating me for years. It's all right, but this is my brother. We talk. We. This, this is my brother. Got okay? you. All right. So what I'm saying is this. He. He, we had a talk, and the talk that we he told me, he said, bro, sometimes you don't have a ceiling. You don't, you go too far. You go way too far. Like you don't know when to go home. You you doing shit that you ain't. If there was cameras, bro, they would have been finished you. And I, I I had to think about this because when your homie tell you something, you should you should listen because like wise men seek wise counsel, all right? So. Anybody that ever read um, The Prince, Niccolo Machiavelli, they, they understand what I'm talking about. So wise men seek wise counsel. So the people around me, I have to be able to, to go to them for counsel. Yo, what you think about this, bro? You think I'm going too hard? You think I'm too much of an asshole? You think I'm getting too high? You think I'm getting too lost in life? And there was times that for me to deal with some of the things and the issues, and we talked about this last mm-hmm. Last episode, when when the, 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 trying to balance the the life of the fame and the money and the pressure of your own personal life, and then you start to do things that you never was doing before: the drugging, you know, the drinking, you know, the over the over abundance of everything, overdoing everything, over abundance of women, just the life, and yeah. So I have found myself in those places where. I overdid things, all of those things. You understand? And it 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 don't work. Where do you feel like you are now? I'm in the middle. <laughs> With the face? <laughs> With the face. No, you know, no, I'm I've been cool now because I'm I'm focused on so many other things right now that I don't really have the time to do some of the senseless um some of the senseless things that that, that don't amount to nothing. But it's so anything. funny because it's like you, when you're in the mix, mm-hmm. when you like, if you're in the mix and then you decide that you don't want to be in the mix anymore, or you decide that what I would call it when you decide you want to heal. 
or right. whatever, right. and you decide like, you know what, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing that no more. Now you and you start actually paying attention and you start actually doing things that are beneficial to your health. Right. It's crazy how everybody started looking at you like, boy, like you're changing or like, right. or sis, you changing like, oh, now you don't want to do that now. Now you, you too good or you too right. this. No, it's not that I'm too good. It's not that I'm too this. I just have to do what's best for me to make me happy. I'm not in that. People don't understand that shit changes. You know what I mean? Change is inevitable. But growth, that's a choice. Quito. Yo, listen, the thing, the thing is this, right? People gonna have stuff to say about anything and change yeah, everything. Change you supposed to change. Change is evolution. If you stay the same, you get the same results. You're That's a die. fact. No, you get the same results. You keep doing the same thing, you get the same results. So you you have to evolve. For me, like like I started to um, Thank you. work out more, get more into taking care of myself, taking care of my body, taking care of certain um, certain things that I was uh, taking for granted. You know, especially your body, because that's your vehicle. We right. need that, because without being healthy, we ain't going to have nothing. Right. We ain't going to enjoy none of this money. We ain't going to enjoy none of the shit that we're doing, all right? So we ain't going to enjoy none of this food, none of these women, none of that, all right? Mm -hmm. So I don't, I, don't, I don't get caught up in what, what people say because it's for me, because when I've been at my lowest lows, it didn't matter. You know what I mean? I've been at my highest highs. I mean, lows. I walked in a club high, highs out of my mind, all right? Out of my mind. All right, and Rick will be. See, I have control issues, so that's hard for me. But you, 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 you didn't have to put it. You, you never. We live different lives, though. We live different lives, and your life might be a little different, but it doesn't make my life less hectic or less stressful you like, than yours, just because you like you're dealing a, with different uh, stresses. You like more of a uh, citizen, like a regular. But you think citizens don't go through stresses? Yeah, but. But what? Because because it's not fame that that that. That's the stress on its own it's right a, there. But it's a stress on its own. But that doesn't mean that your stress is way no, more. No, it doesn't. Than it doesn't mean stress. that. It doesn't mean that. Because there are some people. But what if they going through the same stress you going on, on top of the fame? No, I understand that. But that's what I'm saying. Like regardless, stress is stress. Whether he just said you you not going through what I'm going through. I might not be going through what you're going through, but that doesn't make my stress you, less. Stress, my stress can be crazy. Y'all have no idea. I have two children. Understand. You get what I'm saying? I have two children that like I take care of and that I got I provide for a household. You get what I'm saying? Like I hustle. I, I provide for many, but that's not you the, it's and not I a, get it. This is not the competition thing here. No, 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 it's not about competition, she, but what she, I'm saying is she come is, with that energy. Just, yeah, I'm you came with that energy right there. <laughs> came with that big dick energy. She go. And I sent her home with his little dildo energy. Definitely. Right? I sent that home. I just packed her up. Never packed okay? me up. I packed her up. My right? big dick energy is no, still here, yeah, so it's, it's not a little too up. much, right? I don't because even know what a dildo is. In, I don't use those. We're not in a we're not in a competition of stress. But that's okay? not what we talk. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not about. what we talking about. I'm, what whoa. I'm saying. Oh, I'm not saying that's what whoa. we're talking about. There's no competition. There's 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 no oh I did this and I did that. No, what I'm saying is I have stresses too. I'm just replying to the fact that you say your stresses is not my stresses, but I'm saying it doesn't mean that I'm not stressed. So your point was that you never you never you never did. Anything to heighten that? Like you never. I'm not saying that. There's, over, there's I over have drink, over drug. I have. have. Okay, so bad, baby. Yes. I have. <laughs> and then, but what L I'm saying. Little nose candy. But no, never. Little sugar. Little, never. What, what, no. Know it, but just my, weed. What, just weed. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just weed. Ain't no nose candy, but just th weed. Because I just fucking let weed. Let me explain okay. to you why. Just because weed. there was a time where nice. there was a time nice. where I was in pain, pain. and I. I just smoked to sleep. I tried to sleep my day away. You get what I'm saying? That's it. I wasn't doing okay. nothing over that because at the end of the day, I don't do drugs. <laughs> like, you get what I'm saying? But it's a control thing. I can't even going out. I don't drink too much. If I'm doing something, I don't drink because I have to have control of my situation you because imagine? I feel like I'm. if I'm not in control of it, anything can happen. You ever you ever been stressed and then had to go to work? Yes. Imagine, imagine being stressed and have to face people. I know. A lot of people. I know. You understand? That so, you don't want to deal with. Right, 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 right. But you know what? It's all good. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you too. Are you sure? Yes. You're still here, right? I got... We, st we on kitchen talk, I don't right? want to get into the religion. No, I'm not religious, so it's right. okay. I, I don't want to get into that. But right. what I'm saying is you're still here, so that means that you're here for a purpose. Yeah, I'm That means that you're here to do something because regardless of what pain, regardless of what stress that you're going through, you're still here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Whoa. We're going to shut her mic off for one second. <laughs> no, because she just tried to, she just came at me just now, trying to make an episode about some shit I was going through, and I'm not. <laughs> like that, she just, like, you heard that? It was like, oh, you go. She just really tried to hit me with this whole Georgie the doctor thing. She <laughs> swears she's a, uh, yeah, it's a, a therapist. A therapist. She's yeah. like, she can cite. Yeah, she's, she's, I need one. I'm about to turn into life coach, George. Do you think I need one? I'm about to turn into life there's, coach, there's people, There's people in this room that's telling me I need therapy. You do. It, just well, told me that the other day. I, I had therapy, though. I had therapy. I was going to therapy last year. I had more than one session. And whoever told I know exactly who told you that. I know exactly who told you that. I know exactly who told you Shout that. Shout out to the ops on set. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I went to a couple of sessions. How did it go? It went really, I cried. Crying is good. I had yeah. to learn that. I, I, I that, had to learn that. that. Listen, I went to therapy. I cried. I said, I said, Doc. Doc. I said, Doc. I said, Doc. I'm about to sit on this couch and I'm about to get to you. She said, baby, let, get, let it go. And I sat there and I just cried and I just let it go. And she just sat there and watched me and I just let it go. It was just. Felt good after? Yeah, it felt good. Sometimes. It feels good. Mm-hmm. It doesn't. It, it 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 felt good to talk to somebody that didn't really know you. You know what I mean? That didn't really know. That you uh, feel like I couldn't judge you. So what? Yeah. Feel like I couldn't judge you. I don't stand to be judged in front of nobody though. Like I don't really like. But I'm saying. I don't. I don't. I'm not like a person that's like afraid to tell you my business and tell you the shit that I'm going through. Like I've been in the middle of clubs going through shit and start crying. And girls, man, what's up? Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm standing in the middle of live with. My shirt open, tattoos and jewels showing. And the girl says, <laughs> "Man, over there, what's wrong with him?" Rick, like he all right? <laughs> Rick, right? He all right? He good? Yeah. Boy, going through something. He all right? You understand? So, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't feel no shame. I'm not to ever be shame. I'm sitting here talking to the people. Like it doesn't. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't. Um, I don't identify with shame. You know what I mean? But going to therapy was good because I actually got, I actually got. To try to understand some of my, some of my deep rooted issues, like being in prison for so long, you know what I mean, and spending so much time not only in prison but spending spending a lot of time in solitary confinement. You see, it's one thing to go to prison, right? Because you you, you gotta go, you know you gotta do your bid for whatever you done did. But it's another thing to be in prison and getting in trouble in there, right? And and spending years, years. In, in what they call special housing unit, the box. You know, I started going into the box when I was still a teenager. How long you in there for? A day? Um, 23 hours a day, sometimes 24, you, because you come out to go to, to, to rec for an hour, and then when you come out to go, go they call it rec, you go into the yard, the yard, you just in a cage. And they crack the back of the cell. Right. <clears throat> and they, and you, you, you come out chained up, and you go to a, another cage for an hour. You know, on days when it's cold, you might not even come out. So, you know, all you have is yourself to deal with. So it was a lot of things that that I, I didn't understand about myself until I started going to therapy. Like, I lack empathy. I lack empathy. Like, I'm cold to so many things because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't because I grew up almost in prison because I went to prison when I was, like, 17. Mm-hmm. And I spent so much time in solitary confinement being 19, 20. I spent... Three and a half years in solitary confinement. That's just me in my cell. Just me. Just tr- existing. Just my bare soul. So when, when, that, when that happens, you're not growing. I wasn't growing socially. I wasn't growing emotionally. I wasn't growing in the areas that most 18, 19, 20-year-olds were growing. I was gro- it, was, it was like cut off. So... I didn't realize because I spent so so much time without my family that it's like it ain't it don't I don't f- feel like when I don't see him that it's, it just breaks my heart. It doesn't, and it's 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 bad because I it's like my relationship with my family. I try to like used to to used to not seeing them or not having a the, the, the love because what you don't what you don't have what you lose you build up like a strength. And I built my strength in the things that I didn't have. And because I didn't have 
you know, those, like, every day I wasn't getting visits because I was in the box. You coming to see this nigga, you losing your mind because it's one thing to be in prison, but it's another thing to be in the box. It's, I'm at the lowest form of society. Jail is the bottom of society. Now, imagine being in jail in there. Right? That's the lowest So you got used to not seeing family members on your birthday. Right. I got used to not so celebrating your celebrating birthday. my birthday. Like, I don't like celebrating my birthday now. I just started doing it. I didn't celebrate. I didn't do anything because I, it, it, it never mattered to me. And those things that people were, were happy about, I never was happy about. It was like, it's a birthday. What the fuck? It's like, what? And then people would tell me a story. Like, somebody in my family would be going through something. I'd be like, big deal. Like, what? It's, it's nothing. Bills, nothing. You, you get your head cut off. It's nothing. Like, nothing is nothing to me. Like, and I didn't realize, like, even in, like, having relationships, like, not understanding where another person is coming from. I had a big issue with that. Like, not understanding where, like, a girl be like, but... You, you hard on me and this is what you're saying to me and this is what you're doing and you're doing this and I'm like, I don't understand. I don't, and this is what I'm going through. I don't understand because I don't lack that, that I lack that, that, that feeling. I lack that, that, that vibe that, that makes you tap into somebody else's feelings and I'm trying to get better with that though. I'm being honest with you because I didn't fuck my whole shit up like that. Being honest. Yep. I'm kind of like that. And you know? I wasn't in the box but I mean, there's certain things that I just, it's not a big deal to me, but it's a big deal to other people. And it just, I just be like, okay, I don't know. I, I treat, like, to me, I feel like I treat people like I treat myself. So if, I, if I'm if i hard on myself, I, I might not be as hard on you because I'm hard on myself. But when it comes to certain situations, I feel like a lot of things aren't a big deal. I mean, the fact somebody don't wish me a happy birthday or somebody doesn't want to celebrate my birthday, that's okay for me. It's like, all right. Some do I value birthday? Yeah, some people do. I don't. Do. Get it I, don't. I, I don't just get be either. like, okay. I don't get it either. Hold up, hold up. We, uh, Queens Flip just stepped into the building. Queens Flip just stepped into the building. She looked at you like you were crazy. Flip, what's up, brother? How you feeling, man? Yes. Huh? She from Harlem. She from Harlem. Yeah. Harlem. Yeah, she man. She she like. I'm gonna fuck you up, hard. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, this is nice. You take over. Yo. Queen Strip is in the building. What's happening, brother? It feels good. It looks nice. We back. Thank you. I told you about the phantom power, sucker. But yeah. you let one of them niggas call that white nigga. You ain't want to listen to a black nigga. Don't do that. Nah, 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 nah. Got, I'm going to knock you out too, nigga. Fuck that nigga. You try to act funny. You got, you got oh, white right. men tattooed to your chest. Yes. Stop. Don't come yes. in here talking crazy. You promise you wouldn't do that. Nah, don't do that. You promise you wouldn't do that. You promise you wouldn't you do that. You came in bad energy, Cliff. She didn't say hi to me four times. Okay, that's my cousin. It's all right. It's okay. Pipe down. Don't stand down. You're in the house. Listen, you're amongst family, but you will get flipped in your head. Listen to me, Flip. Niggas love you, man. I'm gonna keep it real. No, like, don't like, keep it real. I wanna see Niggas that. love you, man. Niggas love, let niggas love you, man. Stop right, relax. You good. All right, we right. got food. It's good. I don't Ladies, eat. I don't eat. You don't, don't eat. eat. No. Relax, man. I don't eat seafood. No, well, I'm gonna, I, don't I, don't I, don't I don't eat none of that. You don't eat none of that. You on a diet. Are we talking? Are we, right, are yeah, we, we back? talking? We back? Yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we talking. Because I need focus. It's not, you know yeah, me. Yeah, I need he focus. He's doing an introduction. He introduced himself. That wasn't an introduction. We just introduced chatting. Me. How you doing, man? How you doing, Jordan? How you doing? How you doing, Flip? How you doing, Flip? How you doing, Flip? Rick? Good. Everybody seen you got George in the building. This Justice League episode one being in the building. <laughs> Let me get it together. Like it's Justice League episode one. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, nigga. 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 Don't so you wanna you wanna talk about what we're talking about? Sure. We're talking about mental health. Mental health. Oh. You might. No, I, might. From, I, I have mental issues. You do. I do. You, you might do. Can relate. You know, coming across good people like Mayno and my homie Georgie. And you act like you ain't know me last time you seat me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know because you was with forty niggas. All right, it's okay. In front of the studio. Why y'all fighting over this mic? Over here? <laughs> nigga, you gotta do like the old school RB act. Nigga, share the mic. Nigga, come, come in. 
You gotta come in. Can no, you hear no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't get fucked up in here, bro. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Do not get is fucked up in here. Is that you smelling like baby powder? Yo, this nigga, yo, you a traitor. Yo, you a traitor. I knew you was gonna do this. What? What the fuck are you wearing, man? You got a baby. I smell him. Why you smelling like baby powder, man? What the fuck are you wearing? Muslim oil? I can't tell you. What are you wearing? You wearing polo cologne? What is that that you wearing? That's body spray? What the fuck is that, Flip? Like body spray. Yes. My nigga, what Yo. you be doing outside in Queens? You suck ass nigga. Let's yeah, talk about not, that. No, this He's is not. First ball. of all, time out. Time out. Time out. Let him go. 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 What I'm wearing? What I'm wearing? I went out today. Yeah, yeah. This is your outfit. Your winter outfit. This is your winter outfit. I don't have no respect for nobody. This is a go out outfit. Yes. You gonna respect this house? Yeah. I know that. I'm gonna respect the house. Cause niggas will flip you in your head. And I want it. You don't want I do. That. You really don't. I do, because you know what? I want everybody to record, I'm going to fuck you up. I'm not, I ain't worried about this nigga. Hold on, time out. We sit down, we relax, and slow down. You're going to rip the jersey, nigga. You, you, Calm you, you, down. You, 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 you got to feel you got I like, I, Actually, I like these shorts. I like these shorts. Yeah. 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 Only you can do it. Yeah. What's that, a mission on that? A little dad huh? shorts. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, Kelly playing? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Yo, what? Flip. I'm going to tell you, nigga. We love you, though. Take a seat. Yeah, man. Welcome. Welcome. Let's get back to the topic. Welcome, yeah, Welcome man. Welcome. 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 Thank you. Welcome, man. Shout out to shout out to Queens Flip. This is my brother, man. We play a lot. We Queen talk shit. Flip in the building. You know, um, you we might talk. Have to come closer to the mic. We. Yeah, I got, I got sound effects now. Queens in the building. There was a lot of energy in here. That was, that, was, that was a little bit, you know, a little no, crazy. There's never love. I in felt attacking here. It's I didn't right. feel no love. I don't it's know what right. you got going on it's in right. here. It's but right. I'm gonna get down to the bottom of this before the night is over. It's okay, Flip. You know what, Flip? Let me just say, let me just say this because we I, we were I kept talking my word, about though. we was talking about mental health. We was talking about sure. dealing with things. We was talking about how I deal with certain issues that I have, and sometimes I be having a self destructive behavior. Mm -hmm. You understand? Facts. And I know that you relate to that because you, you you're a pretty self destructive brother yourself. Yeah, I agree. You know, you pretty you like you you. And I think I don't know if you uh. I don't know if you've been diagnosed, but I'm feeling like you're bipolar. Are you you want you want you want to expound on that, bro? I mean, you know, I feel like bipolar as well. Right. You know what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, you know, I can maintain my bipolarness. Can you maintain yours, nigga? <laughs> So you don't take no medication. You just nah, you handle it yourself. I, nah, I'm self-medicated. I'm I'm self not... So, um, Flip. Yes. So um, how do you deal with your pains? How do you deal with things that you go through? Like, what do you do to get through your pains or, like, when your life lessons? Um, well, I used to react. You know what I mean? React, yell, get mad at people, displace my anger against people that didn't deserve it. But then, you know, now I just look within, take my time, sit in the corner, talk to myself until I get it together. Talk to yourself. I like that. Yeah, like you, that. yeah I, I like talk that. to myself. I, sometimes I look in the mirror. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes I see a different nigga in the mirror. I do that. And I had to talk to him like, what you doing? You know what I saying? do that. And I wake myself up and definitely, I get back. Def, definitely I'm back that. like white Tic Tac. Shout out to her. I see you, girl. Don't look, at me like, don't look at me like that, miss. You looking in the mirror, you're definitely not a handsome nigga you see in there. Yeah, yeah, you know. Whatever, however, you, I let you tell it. Well, yeah. Flip, I think Flip, I think Flip is handsome. Thank you. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. hold up. <laughs> yeah, sound effect, baby. Sound effect. Sound effect. Sound effect. Sound effect. Sound effect. Sound effect. Okay. Oh, he, is it, but, um, he, he, don't come in and hate him. No, I ain't going to lie, I'm hating on that shit because I've been trying to get sound effects yeah. for a while. Yeah. And we got to wait for G-Money's laptop. Yeah, <laughs> you got sound effects in here. Yeah, yeah, you got it. You so you think, you think Flip is handsome? Yeah, but um, with but, the, no, there's I'm, a but there. I'm staying on topic. But with, with your... <laughs> The things that you do to to um to get through your pain or whatever, have you ever seeked out therapy or felt like you needed therapy? Let me, let me say this real quick. Like, it's the elephant in the room. Let me just let me just bring the elephant it down. Is? Yeah, yeah. Pardon me, pardon me. Talk, man, no. My thing is this. You're funny. You have this young. You know. You know the history between Georgie and myself. You have this lady questioning me about mental health and and therapy and all that, and she would know more than everybody in this building. I kind of feel uncomfortable. I feel like my back is against the wall. So I would like you to ask me that question because if she asked me the question, I, I would be forced to answer it truthfully and I would like to put up a facade today. We have a lot of different women in here. I don't want no them to facade, know the No facade, shout out to no facades. Uh, you know, I, 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 don't, so, I don't want them so to know the real question. No, we don't do, uh, yeah. we don't do that here. Yeah. You want him to ask the question? I would like one of y'all to ask the question. Not what? her. Because when she asked me the question, I feel like I got to get in because of the history. That's my peoples. No, I know her. No, no. So you can't lie to her. Yeah, no, I could, but I don't want to. No, to, no, no she, she, she can't lie. This is not a show. Hold on. This is not a show where we tell lies. I tell... 
It's just, so you ask me the question. So no, so she's gonna ask the question, bro. Again, <laughs> again. Yeah, yeah. What's ask, your question? Ask the question one more time. Have you ever seeked out therapy or felt like you you needed therapy or has anybody recommended therapy? For People you? recommended therapy. I have not seeked out therapy personally. People have recommended therapy. And, um, you know, it's all about reading, using your Googles, being surrounded by good people that help you and influence you to look within. That's what it is. So you do, you, know about do you feel that you need therapy? Um, Yeah. I feel like we all need therapy. Yeah, you're right. We all need therapy. I mean, you know, at the same time, like, growing up how, we, how I grew up, not how this nigga grew up, but growing up how I grew up and building what I built, everything came so fast. So I don't know. Sometimes I mismanage a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? Especially emotional-wise, I mismanage my emotions. When it comes to business, when it comes to personal, I, I intertwine the two. Do you mix Do you mix business and personal? I did. That was something that I did. That was something bad that I did, and I realized that had a lot of bad side effects, and I had to get in tune with that. You're, high, so, you're a very emotional person, you think? I was. I was. Very extremely emotional. So you dealt with it, you figured it out. Because you know what? But that comes with the bag. No disrespect. I'm not trying to get cocky, but that comes with different... You know, once you surround yourself with different people, you learn different things. And that's just what it is. I was I was granted an opportunity to get a, a, a situation, and I was around people, and I saw things from a different perspective. And I saw a lot of people act like me, and I thought it was corny. Like, oh, you acting like I used to act like that? Right. I watch on camera, right. me doing extra stuff. She would know. You know, I, a lot of times I act like that to her. Right. And it was right. whack, so I had well, to change it. Well, Reevaluation. I, I feel like um, that's somebody, somebody told me this a long time ago. They told me that... Every black man that been through what we've been through growing up and dealing with some of the turmoil that we have to deal with just being black men, we, we may need um, somewhat of a, you know, therapeutic air to, to listen and hear some of the, you know, uh, the pain and the, and the stories and some of the horrors that we had to deal with, some of the, some of the issues that we had. Don't worry about none of that. You think that, that sounds good on the... You, think, you know the mic could pick that up. Thank, thank you. Thank you. It's kitchen Trevor. talk. They chopping up onions. Oh, okay. All right. I appreciate you for saying that. But um, even it's with that... It's kitchen talk. We chopping up onions. Don't worry about it. even with that, Flip. I mean, um, even with that, um, Mano. <laughs> he shook his head at me. So... Call me. So even with that, I also feel like it's not just outside of, like... The, the, the black home with the black man. I also feel like it's inside the home, too, because... You have to grow up and be told, suck it up. Don't cry. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you a man. Be a man. Don't cry. No, we don't show emotions. That's in the black you know home, what I mean? Yes, that's in the black home. That's what right. I said. You know what I mean? Don't cry. Don't. So now you grow up, and now those emotions get mismanaged when you're in a relationship. Those emotions get mismanaged when you're at work and somebody talk to you a certain type of way. Those emotions get misconstrued and misdirected in different ways. It's not just outside of the household. It's also inside of the household because of how black men are conditioned to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to say that. I was, I was taught girls you. cry. You're not supposed to cry. Right, 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 right. Hmm. But look, it's, it's, I think that we all, you know, have, have, have certain issues that, that we, we haven't dealt with. You know what I mean? Like I said, I didn't know that some of the issues that I had, I, I, I thought I came home from prison, I thought I was just regular, like I'm just good. But I didn't know that some of the, the way that I thought, some of the way that I, that I still think today had, you know, um, some, of, some, of the, um, uh, uh, some of those ingredients for some of the shit that I was going through stemmed from me being in prison at a very early age, being in the street at a very early age. So I had to, I had to kind of like get a little bit of therapy to understand that. But I mean, look, we living and we learning. What's up? What's up with you? You so nervous, though. No, no, I'm not nervous. Like, first of all, we got to move this podcast in, in the other room, no, my we nigga. Not. This good. shit, like, what the fuck you got going on mm -hmm. here, nigga? This shit, the Harlem Nights. Talk. This shit bogged out. Niggas yeah. is chopping broccoli while you talking. That yeah. shit looks dumb. That shit sounds stupid, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. And you got headphones on, yeah. blah. It's all right. I, like Boom, I know you like this shit, man. Yeah. I'm, ready, I'm ready to turn up on these. I don't give a fuck who's in the building, nigga. You now I'm hyped. Because I want your shit to be fresh. It's, we got Justice League coming out, nigga. We got a bag on the table, me and you. Don't act like don't hide it from the people. So we never had this shit going on. But I'm about to fuck you up. All right, pardon me. No, I'm about to, I'm about so to beat you. You about to, you about to, about you to displace to you your up. anger. Because no. you're not really mad at yeah, me. You really mad because I'm putting you on to something that you already fucking know. Yep. Uh, Sucker for love ass nigga. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's a whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, oh y'all teams. No. This, is, this is a team. Yeah, no, listen, I know, I know this is something oh. tonight. Oh, no, this is the night that. I know this I is see something what's going tonight. on, yeah. This is a Georgie. This is the Georgie yeah. Flip Show tonight. Yeah. Hey. 
Oh, that was just already, a payback. Hold on, hold on. Let's shut your mic off. Shut, hold on. I you already know this. Yeah, and you slow your nah, fucking roll. We got a mute button. Yeah, I got a mute button here, nigga. You slow the fuck up. You in my house. Check this out. I noticed that it's been some compliments thrown over here. Yes, yes. That man. And I noticed when that man just came at me with all that, all that energy, you was, you was with yep. me. I noticed that. I noticed that too, it's bro. Okay. It's okay. First and foremost, foremost, handsome flip. So, handsome first and foremost, flip. No, no, no. First and foremost, at the end of the day, she's been around. Like, you, you new to this. So we're going to break it down to you. No. You, you're not no, doing no, making music. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't no, point no, at no, me. No, 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 you're no, not, no, no. No, no. You're new to podcasting. No, 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 no. Fuck podcasting. Oh, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. She's been around me. I'm not talking about that. All right, all right, all right. So, again, again, let your nuts hang, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Big dick made up. Yeah, check this out. Let it hang, let it hang. Check this out. Mm -hmm. She's been around me. <laughs> She's been around me over 10 years, nigga. Pardon me, I stepped out of line. All right, you stepped out of line. No, nigga. I did not, nigga. It's your motherfucking She's been around me dog. when it came to podcasting, nigga, so Fuck we know how it goes. You got nigga. motherfuckers chopping, um, fucking it's broccoli. It's kitchen talk, nigga. I don't nigga. give a fuck what it is. You got fucking fire extinguishers going off. You got the, she put the shit on. She's speaking Spanish. She's trying to whisper. She's not even fucking whispering, right? <laughs> it is so good, nigga. Look, 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 look at the levels. I'm watching the levels. Everybody, everybody stay quiet. Look at the level. She laughed the shit, throw the shit at those niggas. Why are you so it's relaxed, relaxed, bro? Yeah, relax, nigga, for you for niggas beat shit out of you. I, I don't want that. Relax for niggas beat shit out of you. I'm, I, I fuck with them. I, that's my family right there. That's right my there. family. No, no, no. That's my family. So your family is my family. I love you, though. We love you. Like, it's just the bipolar. That's not even here to the bro. You see, you see how you went from the extreme back down to I love you, right? And me and Flip go through this. You see, a lot of people don't understand Flip, and they say, Yo, Flip, I don't know this. And it's like, you don't understand him. Like, he got issues. I know this nigga. To know me is to love me, man. Right. He. This is my little man. Right? I'm not your little... No, no, stop. You my little nigga. I'm you not my little, little nigga. nigga. You see, stop, stop. Don't do I, this. Don't do I, I, this. I let you roll with that. Flip, do not do this. Who called... Hold, hold on. Hold nigga, on. Nigga, you called me for advice, nigga. You called... You called... You called who called a little nigga? A little nigga? Oh, you shut up. Oh, yeah. You yeah. might shut down. You might shut down. Slow the fuck up, nigga. Slow the fuck up, Flip. Slow up. I put his mic back on. Let's get back to the topic. Check this out. Flip, Flip is a Flip is a good dude. It's a, it's a good friend of mine. We laugh, we joke, I we like kid Flip, around. Man. I got a lot of love for Flip. A lot of people don't understand Flip, and you know I see him, you know, back and forth with some of these, I don't know, bloggers or whatever. You know, some of these. It's a lot of weird niggas out here. Let me take. Let me just say this about some of these. Um, what 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 would you call yourself? A journalist. I'm a meteorologist. I'm, okay, because I'm, I'm not none of that. I'm not none of that. Ooh, that's a big word. I like that. A meteorologist. Yeah. A meteor. Oh, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an astronaut. No, you can't. You can't. A meteor. <laughs> I'm, I'm, let me say I'm an astronaut. <laughs> My thing is that, you know, step your shit up. I'm getting it in the dictionary, nigga. Meteorologist by Queen's Flip. Step your shit up when you talk to me, Mano. I, oh, what? Oh, wow. I'm getting it. It's really towards him, not yeah, to you as you play. Because it's, it's really towards him. He's sitting next to me. He's yeah, yeah. sitting next to me. It's really towards him because he said yeah, that I'm an astronaut. This place, though. Funny. No, I, no, I am, though. He's an astronaut. And there's a lot of self appointed titles, so, so I'm an astronaut. I'm a doctor. Listen, I don't know about that. That nigga's bugging People take pictures on Instagram, they models. Why can't I be an astronaut? Yeah, that's what you are an astronaut. You see that spaceship out there when you pulled up? Yeah, I'm a fact. Okay. Hey, Flip, listen. I love you, Mano. I love you too. You're thank you for brother. everything, man. Hey, listen, no, thank you. And you here, you in my home, you're gonna eat good tonight. I don't you know, eat, I don't eat You don't eat. No. You know, you see, well, I got chicken. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got chicken, I got drinks, I got whatever you want. Now, I supply the vibe. You're, you're That's the thing. I supply the vibe. I administer the vibe. You, you don't want the vibe? You don't want the vibe. You're afraid of the vibe. <laughs> So, don't be afraid of the vibe. Every time I see you, he always like, what's up? Yeah, you're so nervous. Really? Don't be afraid of the vibe. Well, can I ask you a question? I invite, well, let, me let me tell the story. Let me tell the story. Let me tell the story. Quick story. I like your story. I'm a part of this podcast. You are, but let me tell the story. Your back is turned oh, yeah, yeah, towards yeah, yeah, me. Like, you're doing show a lot. Show 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 I love you. Shout out to my ladies. Check this out. I was hanging out. Okay? I was, and everybody, everybody know that I like to hang out. I like to party. Everybody know that I like to hang out. I like the party. I don't know how to go home sometimes. I end up at Show Palace. We, 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 get, we get there Seven. at 6.30 in the morning, go home at 12 yeah. in the afternoon. Then I'd go three, four days straight, half dead. And, I, I, and, and, and Queens Flip called me one day. I was in Manhattan. I don't know. I was in, this, I was in Queens. Steinway. And I, I was on Steinway. I said, pull up, nigga. I'm in Queens. And he pulled up. He, he pulled up by himself. He should have been comfortable. That's Queens. No, right? but he, he, didn't want, he didn't want to come in. Right, he, because you know, because of the COVID and the quarantine, everybody's partying outside. We in Steinway. Steinway is lit. I said, "Nigga, come in. We got drinks over here. We got women over here. We got a vibe. Come in." I had to damn near beg him. I had, I had my guy go get him from the from the line. Go, go, go get Queens Flip. That's a celebrity. That's my nigga. That's that guy. Go get him. That's my nigga. And he got him in. He came in very 
tense. Queens Flip walked into that party like a nigga that just got to the new jail. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know, he didn't, because when you just get to the new jail, this ain't like the old jail you is at, this the new jail you in. No people. Anybody that ever been in prison know what I'm talking about, man. When you get to the new jail, when you get to the yard, you like, you looking around, trying to see if you know a nigga. <laughs> you looking around, Queens Flip walked in that bitch like he was, his hands was in his pocket, he was ready, okay? He was, I said, what's up, nigga? He said, what you doing out here like this? <laughs> I said, boy, it's some parts, it's, it's a part of Maine, it's some, it's some parts of Maine that you don't understand. I like the party. I, 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 I get crazy. Can he I, said, man, yo, you, yo I, you out here like this. And he was so tense. He was so, I don't want to say nervous. I ain't going to put it. He wasn't nervous. He was not nervous. He was extra on point. <laughs> <laughs> like, like he just got to the jail. And they just say, okay, you could go to the yard. And he just walked to the yard for the first day. Can I first respond? Time. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my issue. <clears throat> I don't drink, I don't smoke, but you know, you were acting. You were I act, do. You were acting, you know, a little bit extra. You were doing a lot of things. I had to sing a song for you, Nick, by, <laughs> Your Love by Nicki Minaj. You were acting real extra. Hot, no, describe and, and, the extra list. Describe it. Describe it. You were just doing extra. I, 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 I don't kiss and tell, nigga. It's none of my business. I, my, my, my main thing, you were doing a lot of extra like, shit. What was a lot of shit? shenanigans that a Brooklyn nigga shouldn't be doing in Queens, nigga. Okay. You was looking real shaky. You know what I'm saying? We saw your last tape. It wasn't too good. Then you had me threaten the bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. I told the bitch I was going to knock her out because I thought she tried to play with you. You had me do that. Then you had me threaten her brother. And then you had Duball come. Me and Duball arguing, young my pops. He arguing because he's like, he ain't going to leave when I, when I want to leave. And then you going to answer him and tell that nigga, yeah, I'm leaving when you leaving. Try to make me like a sucker. Then I got to yell at both of y'all niggas, nigga. So it was a fucked up night. <laughs> And I'm never going out with you again. So yes, she never, is. As we never. going out after this. It was, it was kind of crazy. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. It was kind of crazy because I wasn't there. Yeah. You wasn't there? You, 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 I keep, I keep everything. Yeah, you keep, you I keep everything. Why you wasn't there, Rick? Had guy I had to throw in a bitch. You try to play my man, but I'll kill you here. Like, oh, I'll fuck your brother. Man. What's up? Hey, for real. No, I don't play my Because you out here doing, you yeah, love. You're doing sucker shit. You're a sucker ass nigga. I will never act like that in public, nigga. Because I kiss in public? Yeah. Is that a problem? Is this in public? Telling the bitch that's in not public. That, we gonna, let's get her mute. This, that, that. I never saw. I, well, I don't go. I don't go out. Like, Listen, she, you, she on mute for me. For me. <laughs> because what's the what's the problem? Because I'm showing affection and love in public. Is that a problem? You kissing women on the mouth? Whoa! Yes. What the fuck are you talking about? That's what you just said. What are you doing? Of course I do. Listen. <laughs> slow, slow down. Of course I do. Both, of everybody, I do. everybody, the energy right? is a little high. Bro. Your drug is different than mine. All right? Allow me to have one. All right? Your drug is different than mine. Your poison is different than mine. Allow me to, allow me to delve into my pain. Don't Check this poison. out. I do. Listen. Flip. Yes, I'm listening. You was, you was extra on point that night. My thing is that, listen, you my nigga, right? Yeah. Somebody walked in. Can I tell the story? I don't want to say no name. Can I tell the story? You want me to tell the story? Tell the story. From your point of view? Nah, my point of view is I see, I see, I see somebody walk in trying to get her brothers in. <laughs> we now we know that's not your brother, bitch. You Spanish, she's black. But we're gonna play into you, into your theory. So let my brothers in. You you was you was caught up because you a real nigga. No, just you just wish you understand. See, this is this is my field you're stepping into. So let me finish. So, no, no, let, let me, me finish. Take from my no, vision. no, no, your so vision. you want me to tell a story then? I, I'm gonna let you tell the story, but then I'm gonna I'm give you an angle that you don't understand because this, this is a world that you don't play in. So go ahead. I'm gonna give you the story. Give, 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 give me the angle give, real quick. Yeah. No, no. So I'm what gonna, I saw is that I thought, like, I said, man, I don't, you know, man. Mm. Anyway, you was nice enough. Let your peoples come in. I respect that. Me, I would have been a little different. No, we don't hate. They could come yeah, in. I'm a hater. That's but the problem. Like, ain't, ain't, nobody, ain't nobody enjoying themselves on my dime, nigga. You gotta pay to be around me. You looking Long at it. You looking Long at it. No, no, no. Allow, allow me. Allow me. Allow me. You, you can Google my network too if you, when you have some time. My thing is this. Your network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm talking to my man. Your network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't come in my house talking about I'm your talking fucking network. And I'm, nigga. Talking, and I'm telling the you why. What the fuck is you talking about? I'm telling you why I think the way I think. Are you nuts, nigga? I slapped that fucking hat, <laughs> hat off your fucking head. You talking about so your network? That's my people. The life, lifestyle that's my people. Hold on. on. I'm telling you why I think the way I think. You, my nigga, it don't apply to you. If it don't apply to the fly, I don't apply to nobody in here. Got my niggas. But at the same time, I ain't like what I saw. So you was nice enough. And then you know you got a little attitude because niggas were talking. Check this out. 
What sucker. Flip is talking about. This nigga is a sucker. Fuck out of here. I'm telling you. You was a sucker, my nigga. You got mad. You had go ahead. You had me threaten the bitch. I had to threaten her in the corner, nigga. It's okay, Flip. No, it's not okay. I'm into I'm into crazy nights, bro. I'm into crazy nights. Let me tell you something about, about me, Flip. You an ill nigga. I'm not a, I'm not a hater, right? You not. If there's a young lady that I'm interested in, and she with a pack of niggas, bring them niggas in. I saw you do it. Bring them niggas All in. All that's going to do is help her see who the real is. He a comedy, yeah. Bring, bring, I'm, Put I'm, them next to us, she going to know who the real is. Supreme confidence. If I'm interested in a lady, and she said, doing? listen, I'm over here with my brother and his cousins and his uncles and his, and his nephews, and they got guns and they got drugs on them, and I said, bring all them niggas in. Bring all them niggas in. You, you, you with all them niggas? There's 25 of them. Bring them in. I ain't no hater, nigga. You're not a hater. All right? So check this That's out. That's what I like about whether, you. Whether, whether she was fucking one of them niggas or not, it didn't matter. Yep, you right? handled it right. It's, it's not, I don't have an issue with that. I'm not, I'm not weak-minded like that. Bring them, bring them in. Because mm. at the end of the day, I'm going to get what I need and I'm going to get what I want. Right? Facts. Absolutely. So that's the only that's listen, I'm the same nigga. But you can't be kissing bitches in public like Hold that. Hold on, I can do what I want. That's I don't difference. like that. It's not my see, man. That's I can do what I want. No What's point wrong at me? with let that? Let me though. tell you something. Let me tell you something. I didn't I didn't let me tell you something. Listen, check this out. Let me tell you a true story. I didn't been in places, Vegas, different places, mm -hmm. Club Miami. Seen a girl that I like with a guy. With a guy. And offered her and the guy to come to my table. And you, drink with me. Because you're a solid nigga. But no, because I'm gonna take his bitch. You're a solid, solid nigga. I'm gonna I take his solid bitch. To me. Real yes, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna I'm <laughs> because listen. Real best if, because if here's the thing, if a girl is with a nigga mm. and they and they dating or whatever, they trying to date, mm -hmm. and she allows another nigga to pull her into a section with that nigga, and he allow and that's he allow that, that's not his you won already. That's I already won, nigga. You won already. I already won. Hold on, hold on, wait. This wait, 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 we say it to the girl, and, and we tell and we say it to the girl. Like, nah, I'm not going in there. You're not going. Right you're not going in there. That's me though. That's you though. Why? Wow. She shouldn't even. She shouldn't even. What type of nigga is you that you That's won't right. allow that? I, I don't know what type of nigga I am, but let me just say this. So why would why won't you? Allow I'm not that? going to sit in another why? section. I got my own section. Nigga. Exactly. So he right. lost already by him doing that. Lost this, already. This is what I'm trying to tell you. These bitches is for everybody. We know that. Absolutely. So, and my main thing is that you you there's a people like you. People Ooh, like me. I'm going to break you down because... They need people have, like me. Yeah, Let me they, do, they do. They, they need do. people like me, man. People mm -hmm. like you. You need people like me. I, we do because you mm -hmm. very, very... You, you, you have a lot of plans and a lot of tricks. You're an ill nigga. I watch you work. Yeah. I, I don't have the mental Shh. capacity for it. You need people like me. I don't man. have the mental capacity to, to think... I'm going I'm to get a headache, nigga. But that's you why... You know... That's why I'm a 10 This is why I love you guys so much. Why? <laughs> because... You guys teach me the game, and this is why I you am love the more, way Georgia. I am. This is why I am the way I am. Can I tell you a story? Your favorite, Georgie. Thank tell, you. Can I tell you a story, Georgie? What? True stories. I was in, I was in, I was in the New York City strip club. I want to say uh, Starless one night, and I was interested in a young lady. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was interested in a young lady, and we <laughs> we started talking from story. the distance. Mm -hmm. She was with a guy. Mm -hmm. Me and her. Went back to the hotel room and she had the guy wait for her downstairs. Real life. The Real thing life. is, man, I've watched you. You know, I've watched you for years, but I've watched you put things in it. You have it down pack. You have it down pack. It's a sport for him. And I salute you for that. Niggas like me don't got it down pack. It's okay. And I respect you. It's okay. And my thing is. You got it down pack. I watch you work. I watch you do the wink. They know what time. I watch you. Nigga, I watched you. I watch it. somebody get mad because you was on somebody else. You go ahead, you try to go ahead. You did the wink, did the head nod. Show the kid. I, nigga, I watched magic. I was like this. Yeah. It was magic before my eyes. And yeah. this is why, this is the good thing about being the sis. And this is the good thing about hanging out with guys. Like people will say, oh, you a tomboy, you this, you that, growing up and stuff like that. But I know the game. You think you're infiltrating the system? I I have infiltrated the system. All right, next there's time certain things, there's step certain things. No, why well, I gotta step outside? I don't got that. I don't they have nothing to do with y'all. But it don't, but they could be mad at y'all and the dudes that I've grown up with. Cause at the end of the day, hanging around with them taught me the game and taught me what to look for, what not to look for. I could, like, I, I could, 
honestly, you can't game a gamer. That's how I look at it. Mm. But at it's the not, end of the no, but it's, it's not about game. It's though. not about game, but, she, but certain a, things that y'all go, well, certain huh? things that y'all do with women, certain me, things that that the experiences that you guys have allows me to to be more protective of myself and have more respect for myself. Mm, Where certain good. things that I'm not going to do, there's certain Amen. things that I'm not going to tolerate. There are Welcome. certain things. Can I say something? Wait, hold on. I, 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 you, you broke it. My thing is with you, like, I know you. Like, let's, oh, let's, let's, right. cut, let's oh, cut it out. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, let, 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 let's cut it out. My thing is that you are the master at games. Like, let's stop it. Hold the horns. You're the master at games. You, you are the game. Everything with you is strategic. I can see why you guys are, 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 are whatever you guys are, like brothers and sisters, best friends, because you guys are just alike. But you're like, you're in a different way, but you are strategic also. Niggas I'm, that's in their mind, you everything is strategy with you. I watch well, you work, you, nigga. It's, it's a chess game. It's a chess game. Life is not a chess game. Life is a chess game. Life is a chess game. That niggas think wrong. Both y'all niggas is wrong. And it works. You make the move, though. Exactly. You gotta see the move, but when you take your time playing those games, you're not able but to. But you're not so playing So you take a person that's go for it, and however it happened to happen, no. you're that bridge. However the shit falls, you're across that bridge when you get to the And I'm not judging them. And I saw it already. Before you, before, before I even got to the bridge, I saw it. You can't see the bridge. Cause I had the binoculars in my pocket, so that's why I jumped across it. What so the you fuck? Pro- <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I don't know what Shut the fuck up! Either. Shut the fuck up! Before I turn your mic off. Shut the fuck you see up. what you're doing? You're being biased. You choose the size again. You're not I'm being biased, not. but Shut life is a chess. Between me and him, Georgie. But, but let, what, me get, let me get it out of here, please. But once I'm saying it, what I'm saying is y'all both play games, nigga. You gonna let me talk? Life is a chess game. It's not, but it's sometimes you 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 don't have to play. You just know how it's being played. That's it. You don't have to. Georgie, do you play games? Yes or no? No, I don't play games. You don't play games, but you but you are aware of the game, yes? I'm very aware. And you're ahead of the game, yes? I'm ahead of the game, and in so turn, I don't have to play. And, and hold on, and in turn, if somebody play games with you, you know how to maneuver around it, correct? Yes. You are like the, the level, you like uh Shao Kahn in Mortal Kombat, yes? The last level, right? That's what you want to In order to get to the last level, I'm like you have the to play the game. I'm like the 12th level in Jumanji. Yeah, the 12th level of Jumanji. Round of applause for her. Do we have a, a, a hey, applause? We got round of applause. Round of applause for her. Stop. Suck the shit. Games ain't good. <laughs> Fuck the round of applause. But you nigga. never play games before? No, I don't. Don't? You don't? You look like you look like a uh, You look like you nigga. play you look like you try to you try to play games. You just told me that there's certain things that you've done, which means that you've played games. When did right? I tell you that? If we were wrong, if we were on the tape, you said specifically when we were talking about mental health, there were certain things that you've done. You've you've lashed out on, on certain people, you've done certain okay, things, right? So to me, that is still playing games, right? I, I it's just that so. you're not good at the game that you play. So you get mad when somebody else is better. So then it becomes if now you got a problem. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. Hold on. That's- that was fire. Let's go. That was oh, fire. Like that was fire. I get, I get crazy. And, and I'm gonna say that she just put you in your place. She did. Here's the thing, Flip. You try to tell us that shit, but she ain't Here's know what You, 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 you look at it smart. You look at things a different way. And I don't judge anybody that look at things different from me. Right. I don't judge. I'm you. in my lane. So what I'm saying to you, and you, so and you, you told me that you told right. that. Yo, you got to right. be in your lane, you so I stay in my lane. So when you when you came out the party with me, it was certain things that you didn't understand because you never seen me in that element. I, no, I understand but the light, but I, I didn't, didn't, didn't want to see you like that. But I'm like that. I, now I know, and right. I don't want to be and around that, you. What? <laughs> it's you too much. Wanna, you don't want to. I don't want to see my man drinking. I, I get nervous. Why are you nervous? nervous? Because, like, what? Dubar ready to fuck somebody up behind me because he was a fan of mine. And he what? leaned on Dubois to say hi to me. Oh, like all that right. shit got a little tell. Like I was involved with a lot of shit. I had no, re- I had no reason to be it's in it. Okay, I was. You know what it is? You're not a, you're not really a social person. I'm not. As 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 much as of a internet sensation that you are, you're not a social person. See, I'm a very social nigga. You're, right? They 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 might see Mano in, in a hood in Brooklyn, a hood in the Bronx, Jews on, cars out. They might. I'm a social nigga. I jump out. I pull up. I'm not afraid of the people. You understand? Not to say that you're afraid of the people, but I've always been a people type nigga. I understand. Like I, I be in the middle of the, like the middle of the ghetto. Not in, in, in just because I love my niggas, I love my people, and I love that energy sometimes, and I need to feel it because sometimes I be going through shit, and I need to feel it. I need to feel that love. I need to see it. I need to be outside. That's I have, what I like. I have self love. I don't need to feel love from anybody it's else. It's okay. You're a different nigga. You fat. You ugly. But yeah, it's different. I agree. <laughs> I'm a I handsome agree. nigga. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. You, you know, it's all right. Who done? Who playing the jokes? He ain't, he ain't get. I, I get you. What, what's up? What's up? Who, <laughs> yeah. what, what, the audience is laughing. Hold on. Everybody. Get... He just muted you. <laughs> yeah, I got, 
I got to, I got to applaud. Those my those my ladies. <laughs> those my ladies. Shout out to your ladies. Good shout out to my ladies. Shout out to my ladies. Hold on. The ladies of kitchen talk. This shit. <laughs> we got we got a little. Mm. I'm the I'm the I'm the administer of the vibe, bro. You are you that nigga. I'm the minister. I'm not of the questioning. Vibe. I think that from the like, Vibe Piper. I, I, yeah. <laughs> that shit like all Kelly man. Yeah. Say that. She don't like none of this shit that's going on in here right now. She's very like to be honest. She, she like these to be nah, George, organized. George, George be with it. But the problem she acting like that now. What, what we was like talking like about is how we deal with how we deal with our issues. And I was talking about how I dealt with some of my pain was over over doing shit, over partying, over drugging, over drinking, over. You told, you told me that. You told me that. that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then sometimes, you know, like I got to a place where I had to balance that shit out because I, I felt like like last year, I was in a dark, I was in a hole, nigga. <laughs> I, I was in a hole. Why? Why? I was going through mad personal things. Mm. You want to share? Of course. Was it like the Akon song, Lonely? Was it like the shit you know, I be singing? I was, I was, I was um, going through, like my household was crumbling. Yeah. Like it was like a lot of people, um, a lot of people talk about uh, going through breakups and stuff like that. But I, I really had like a household. Like I lived like a really married life at the time, and I was on a road. I had been on a road for for like a month, a month or so, and and it was things happening, and my household was crumbling and crumbling and crumbling and crumbling, and it was getting worse and it was getting worse, and I couldn't do nothing. And the only thing I could do was to make me feel better. Was to make it worse. Was to take my. I wanted to like do something for the pain because I was. I couldn't face it because I couldn't. I couldn't understand how I was allowing so many different things to to happen for my destruction. But so the only thing I could do for it was like, fuck it. We going out tonight. We on the road. We in the city. Fuck it. Call them bitches. We going. We partying. We clubbing. What's up? Like what? We we going in. It was too painful. Yeah. Yeah, it was painful. Definitely. That's a fact. I'm not... I'm, I'm nah, not, I respect no, that. I respect yeah. you too. I respect the honesty. Listen, right. when you have a household, you have a household, and you have a certain level of expectation with that household, you have a certain level of understanding, a certain level of love, a certain level of family, and to see that crumble before your eyes, based around your actions... It's 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 it's, it's a lot to do. Huh? You didn't want to face yourself. No, but I had no choice too. I had listen, listen you the reason. You the reason. You nobody else to blame. There. Nobody else to blame. Nobody else to blame. That's now right. the pain the pain is necessary. It's temporary though. Mm-hmm. As long as you can get through the pain, then you could you could you 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 could get out, you know what I mean, and, and get better. So I was I, I had to go through that though, because I had to hit rock bottom. Like last year was rough for me. Where do you feel you are now? I'm good. I'm All good. the way? Um, yeah, as as can be. Yeah. yeah my my like brother I'm back, man. Yeah, I'm 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 good. I'm good. Oh Ray <laughs> Gibson back. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I deal with uh I deal with, with things. Um I'm I'm of course we not outside clubbing and partying and and, and, and drugging and I think maybe that the, like I, I think the it. quarantine may probably help. Quarantine and then look, you took that I, and then yeah, I did, and put the energy to something more constructive. I, I, I invested into this uh, podcast. Me and Flip got closer. Um, yeah. Went and bought the, went and got the studio shit. So we down there recording. We just dropped yep. a record called The Rat Thing. I finish recorded the, that myself. Finish up the book. Yeah, finishing up the book. We doing so many things. So many finish up the music. Everything we doing is 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 up about trying to increase the our value. So absolutely, it's it's. It's it's all good because we're gonna deal with the issues anyway. They gonna come anyway. What we gonna do? What we gonna Roll do? with the punches, right? Roll with the punches, nigga. Yeah. We all have issues, man. Of course we do. We all have it, it, it took it took me some time to sit back and, and reevaluate things and, and come up with a plan. And I slowly started to see things from a different perspective and slowly started to fix it. Slowly started to cut the fat out. Slowly started to do a lot of things, man. And you know and, and I had to admit that I was a toxic person. Cause I heard a lot of people that was me around. Too. I had to admit that too. Yeah, I heard a lot of people that was around me, man. I mean, I in my to, home. I had to admit that, Flip, that I was a toxic person. That I, yeah. I fucked my whole house up. You know what it feel like to have a whole house? Uh, trust me, I know. Of, like, like that's your crib, this your house, your family, everybody in here. Mm-hmm. This your home. This your loved ones, everybody in here. That's this your whole life. And to lose that. And I was I was mixing personal and business a lot. 
Right. I, I, you know, they always used to say as a kid, when you have a problem, leave that shit at the door when you walk in. I was bring the problems with me, take it out on others, and not realize, like, it, it made me not pay attention to the people that was there, that was trying to be there, that meant good. Because when you when you go in, when, you, when you're toxic and you just see red, you're not really seeing, you can't see the white. Everything is red. And even those white pieces that's there, you can't see them because right now you're in the zone and your mind, now you're looking at everybody funny. You push good people away. Yeah, you push. And, I, I've, been, and I've been doing that my whole life. I've done that many times. I push a lot of people away. And my thing is that now, you know, I remember a long time ago, I'll give you a story. There was a page on MySpace called Pops on Blast, right? And I was a part of that page, starting that page. And it got like a million followers in two days. And a girl jumped out the window in Martin Van Buren. So what, what Pops on Blast was, was a, you know, MySpace had the comment section. So they used to just post naked pictures of, of, of girls. Every, cause back in the days in the socket, girls were sending naked pictures. So I just created the page. I mean, I got arrested for it and all. I had to go to court. And my lawyer said that, you know, because MySpace is, is public and they're able to upload. Because they wasn't sending the pictures to me. Yeah. Now, I don't know these girls personally. They wasn't sending me the pictures that I was uploading them. They uploaded them themselves. Right. That's how the, the, the comment platform. section was. Right. So pops on blast, and then you know, like that led to something deep. Like where I had a, a big issue. But what I'm saying, the reason why I brought that up is because I was when the people came to me, when the girls would come to me and tell me how hurt they were, like through the years when I was doing the music, and I'd be funny. I acted real, real nasty. You know what I mean? I act real nasty. I did something bad in the Coliseum to one of them. You know what I mean? Like, just to show off and, 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 and feel like I was that nigga and it was corny. So, fast forward, and that was a nice girl. She was just explaining to me that how she was hurt by that years ago. She's like, yo, Flip, like, you hurt me. You ain't realize, like, by creating that page, like, it made me look crazy. So now I'm walking with my daughter and I had to see this young lady and, you know, and she was a friend of mine and, but... When I woke with my daughter and I had to see her and I had to face her, I tried to like make amends and I try my best to make amends, especially with a lot of those people that I hurt with the Pops on Blast page. Like I try to make amends with her because I did violate, I did cause that. And at the, when I was ignorant and I was pushing people away, I didn't realize that all she was trying to do was just let me know how I hurt and I didn't give her that air because I, mm -hmm. I was selfish. You still the same? Yeah, I was still the same nigga. I was just into myself. I don't give a fuck how you feel. nigga. I'm not responsible. You didn't give me the naked picture and I wasn't fucking you. That was my, but she's like, nah, you created a page and you made a song about it. You know what I'm saying? And I was working with my daughter and then I saw her and I just felt crazy. You know what I'm saying? Right. I felt bad, bro. I have I did, a question. Sure. What's the question? Do you guys ever think about that? Like when you, how you talk about women, how you talk to women, how you treat cert, like how you treat women. Do you ever like, you know, cause each one of y'all have daughters. So do you ever think about that, that maybe one day your daughter might encounter somebody that might talk to them like that or mistreat them like I that? I think or? about that all the time. That's a good question. I made a song about that called Live For Me um, on my Party in Pain project. No, I'm on it. Um, right. I'm doing <laughs> that song. And I talked about that. And then I said, like, I don't want you talking to my daughter. I was talking to my son and my daughter. And I talked about, I don't want you to find a, a, a guy like me. I want you to be better than me. And, you know, know that, you know, um, men... Respect queens, you know. Um, Absolutely. We we, I don't some of, some of the behavior that that I I I displayed was based around my upbringing, based around some of the things that I was taught, based around some of the things that I thought was right. Um, not, and and, and then it's not till later on that you feel, that you realize that some that most of those things were not right. You understand? So, um. I do think about that because my daughter's seven. She she'll be eight. She's getting older, and it's like, wow. We're like, what is she gonna encounter? How is she gonna be able to deal with some of these guys? Because the first person that your daughter falls in love with is you. Mm -hmm. The first guy that your daughter loves is you. Right. The guys that she receives and it, 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 that she is gonna enter into relationships with will reflect certain things that she's seen in you. So it's it's something that has been eating at my conscience to try to be a better father, a better role model to my daughter. You understand? Um, and it, it's it's it. I'm getting better. I will say, and me and my daughter's relationship. Shout out to you. Yeah, yeah. So me and my daughter's relationship is really good. She lives in L.A. Shout out mm -hmm. to her. And um, you know, she's a lot of personality. I love her. Though. You know, and it's, 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 it's good. And it's definitely right because it's not just um, what you say to your kids. It's also what they see. That's a you fact. You know, 
as a, you know, my father is very, very active in my life, you know, and I am tough like him. You know what I'm saying? I am militant like him. Right. But at the same time, there are certain things that I am aware of that causes me to be a little bit more um, guarded. Right. Or, you know, more like, um, I won't say judgmental because judgmental is not the right word, but just more, more, uh, Paying more, attention. More on point. More yeah. on point. More, more on point. point. You're like flip outside on Steinway. Yeah, like more on point on certain things because it's just like, you know, like you said, you're, I'm a daddy's girl. So, you know, right. your your father is the first man or that active role model, your father, your uncle, whoever it is playing that role in your life. They are those that is the first person that you fall in love with and you either love them for what they do or you might not love them for what they mm. do but still love them if that makes sense right, right you get right. what i'm saying so that's why i ask because i you know i i'm i'm i don't take anything personally when men talk you get what i'm saying like i don't i don't i don't take anything personally when y'all y'all say bitches or y'all say you know this da, 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 whatever you say because i know i don't fall into those categories so i never take things personally but i do think that you know, this might be a situation where the way you talk, it, your kids pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Even when you think they're not paying attention, they pay no, attention. No, listen, let me tell you. I, I went through that with my son, cause I, and I regret certain things that I've done um, mm -hmm. showing him. I've, you know, my son is uh, 17, and he grew up seeing me around various different women. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought letting him see that to maybe he was like about 11 or 12, mm -hmm. but... That that alone, like, to see a, you know, it's like, I did, he never remember a time when I was with his mother. He doesn't even remember a time. But he's seen, he's seen various different women around me. And now when I look at him, he's like, picked up on some of that. Like, he's into girls, and it's like, I want him to, to respect women. And I don't want him to think that what I was doing or the th things that he's seen for me was because I was not respecting women, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm, my thing, I don't want, I don't want my daughter to, to meet a nigga like me. So I don't want my daughter to meet a nigga like me. So this is what I, I what I try to do now is I, I try to set an example. I try to change things before it's too late. You know what I mean? Cause I don't, you know, a lot of times when you do, you know, psychology, you know, the daughters, a lot of times daughters end up with men who are just like their father. Mm. You know what I mean, um, and um, even or if you shelter them too much, they may go something on the opposite of being sheltered, and then later on fall back into being that sheltered. So I don't want to, you know. I try to set an example and do things. There was a lot of things I did, even in my home. You know, my behavior that I act and how I was acting, and you know, not being considerate, and you know, I had to change that. And I, I had to change that. It was it wasn't good. Okay. Right, right, this shit right, sound right. like what the fuck? We in the forest? Right. <laughs> what the fuck going on, blood? Rick, do you got anything waterfall? What the fuck, my nigga? Rick been mad. I quiet. just try to I'm, when it comes to my daughter, I just try to edit, educate her the most I can, put her on to put her on to game, and give her those cheap codes that she needs to know the difference. Mm -hmm. mm. That's the most you can do because you know at the end of the day they're gonna live their own life and go on their own course. Facts. Shout and then, Rick. like, her brother, make sure her brother open the door for her, pull out chairs, open doors for her, mm -hmm. so she can get used to certain things. Mm -hmm. So once, I feel like once she gets used to certain things, she only going to expect certain things. She's used to getting chairs pulled out for her and doors open for her. When she gets older and she meets a man, she's going to expect him to do that. Because that's what she's used to. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That's what I try to do. Yeah, yeah, that's real. That's real. That's definitely real, man. Shout out to Queens Flip for pulling up. Yeah, yeah. I just turned this into a therapy session. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah right. His sound effects <laughs> for again. Queen's Flip. Man. But I want to. I want to say one thing before before we get out of here. Right before we eat, before we get out of here, I want to. I want to ask a question. Sticking around, Flip? Nah, I'm getting up. No, you're not getting up. I know where you. No, no, no. This is no, no. I'm gonna let you live the night, nigga. You have no choice but to. Oh, okay. you gotta relax. Oh. No, no, this no. is where I'm gonna tell you. I like his confidence. Relax. Relax. relax, relax. Fat nigga, I'm, funny. I'm gonna keep it. I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it 100. This is between Obese me. Obese nigga. This is between. I, I could be all that. I, I lost like 12 pounds, and I feel 12? good about it. Yeah. Th nice, nice, nice. nice. Check this out. Hold on. Hold on. You driving in a car. You have your mother and your girlfriend. Mm. 
for your wife. Let's say your mother and your wifey. Who rides in the front seat? Who rides in the back? Come on, Flip. He's not you first. Me. You first. Nah, he actually. That's you a, start. No, gonna that's, start. We're gonna go around. That's a question. That's a question for everybody. Ah, uh, yeah. So so we gonna start with Flip. The you know, audience, with Flip. You know, audience, make sure you comment below. We would like to. We, we would like to read it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's Definitely. it. Yeah, hey, you start. Yeah, come on, go around. It doesn't matter who right. It is like whoever rides. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. We start with Flip. I know, but I'm saying because he's trying to avoid it. Yeah, fuck you. Let me start. It. No, no. Fuck let him. Let him talk. Okay. First of all, it's not about letting me talk. I don't want to talk. You are gonna talk? Oh, I don't want to. You always got to take. You gonna talk, bro? <laughs> that's your ego. Talk. We 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 putting that down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Talking yeah. to him. What is he, what is he it doing? Don't matter who you talking to. This is a group effort. That's here. right. What, what is he doing, Georgie? You right. driving your car? He's, he's <laughs> you on the I ninety five? What's the word? The first Who's in the front? Pass. Deflecting. You pass. Pass. You're no, deflecting. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Flip. Answer I, the question. I, I, we must be in high school. Because since we're, I, I feel like niggas are trying to force niggas to answer questions that they don't want to answer. It's right, not go, even man. that serious. This, all right, I got you. Listen. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. My mother. <laughs> my mother's going to sit in the back. Whoa. What? Okay. I, hey, would, I expect my wife to offer her the front seat. Oh, nice. That's a good one. My wife should offer her the front seat and then let my mo- my mother decline and say, no, baby, don't worry about it. I'll sit in the back. Or give her a choice. And give her the choice. Give her the option to sit in the front. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Now, flip question. <laughs> your, your, your man, your boyfriend, your hubby, <laughs> and, and your father, who's you driving? Who's riding in the front? I already know my father's going to offer to sit in the back. He's going to offer to sit in the back? He's going to be like, no, you sit in the front. I'll sit in the back. I know my dad. Flip, you going to answer this question? They both sit in the back. That's right. That's yeah. what I was saying. <laughs> Can't you talk? I'm from Queens, nigga. Can't you talk, nigga? <laughs> Boo out. They both sit <laughs> Can't you talk, nigga? They both going in the back. <laughs> Boo out. What the fuck you talking about? Huh? Yeah. Is your daughter sit in the front? My daughter sit in the front. That's it. That's that's a fact. That's a fact. Well, <laughs> we it, it well, is. It's okay to play possum. Hey, it's okay to play hey, possum. Check this out. Kitchen Talk episode seven. Y'all already know what it is. Golden you know what we 007. Do. Shout out to shout out the Queens flip for coming through. Yeah, that was good. Give him a sound effect. Give him a sound on. effect. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my nigga Queens flip for pulling up on us tonight. You know this nigga. He trying to listen. Yeah, you doing good. Chase your dreams, nigga. Chase your dreams, nigga. I see where you going with this. I like that. Chase your dreams. I appreciate that. Thank you. Shout out to the Kitchen Talk ladies. Yeah. Shout out to Spanish. Shout out to Petey. Shout out to her crew. Shout out to everybody giving back their feedback and support. I feel the same way. Hit me up on IG, Ricky Hustle Hard. We about to eat, nigga. This your favorite time girl. Time boy. boy. Wow. But I'm OG. Eat, I want to definitely shout y'all Queens out. Queens flip. IG, shout I don't, don't get my IG. But listen, oh, <laughs> shout out to Rick. I appreciate you. Shout out to Mayo Georgie. Do, do you realize niggas are beating shit out you though? Can we get? <laughs> Did you realize that like niggas are beating like shit out you? I like his confidence you. though. Hey, I like your confidence, but niggas he, are beating shit out you. He a person that you got to keep the camera going. Yeah, they can get up. Listen, Queens for this Justice League episode one. This is what we gonna talk about today. Justice League. That's just Justice League episode one. What we're going to talk about today is romance. romance. We ain't doing a romance, nigga. Yeah. When is romance needed? Need it? Okay, let him go. When is it needed? I don't know. It, you. It's always needed, nigga. Need I'm a gentleman, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Need it? Pull out. Please, baby. We out. Kitchen Talk. Kitchen episode Talk. Episode seven. We Number about seven. to eat. It's lit. We having fun. Georgie got an attitude because he got new shit. mics and sound effects. BQE shit. She hating, but it ain't gonna matter. And flip, don't act like it. Next we, time you see me, son, I got you don't know me, bro. Cause we upped it. We upped it. Ew. None but pressure. We upped it. We upped it. Niggas looking like, come on, up it. Small on you. Like you knew up that nigga like he had split. Small on like you. Dead bitches, blue faces.
couple niggas I slide for. Yeah. Get your girl took like she not yours. Play around, get you knocked off. Fuck jail, hate locked doors. Either we winning a lot, or we gon' starve. I'm whipping and drop. Looking at all of these bitches to pop. All of these bottles, we lit or we not. Hey, street nigga in real life. No Instagram, real life. Dark clouds tryna see at night. Die legend, be a G in life. I am the nigga, you know it. Look in my eyes, my enemy show it. How about the raw they seeing me going? Raising the level, we kicking the door. Big dreams bring dead bands. She's getting head in a black belly. Shots fly. Boy, don't tell me, fuck y'all, I ain't that friendly. So, you know it's my birthday Saturday, right? Nah. <laughs> I don't know if you was uh, planning on trying to surprise me or anything. You know, I don't, you know, I don't like surprises. But if you, uh, if you, if you plan on doing something, I, I'm going to act surprised. Out here, Fred. What the? What the? No! 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 The hell are you doing out here, Fred? How did you get out here, Fred? If you're real, you better tell me right now. Fred, if you're real, you better tell me right now. <laughs> 